Hi everybody. This is an update on the storm up north. Davu 7 just posted a video. State of emergency declared in New York. JFK shut down as well as LaGuardia. I will link below to his video but it's not good for an awful lot of people. An awful lot. So massive flooding wreaking havoc along New England coast. The house was literally shaking this morning when I got up. I will link below to everything. I'm not going to be playing a lot of the videos. Uh, if you want to hear what's going on, uh, click on the link below. But major flooding, coastal Massachusetts communities, parts of Causeway Street, Morrissey Boulevard, and Seaport Boulevard in Boston are completely underwater. This is uh, the <clears throat> excuse me, aquarium station where you see water gushing down. So the aquarium station has been temporarily closed. Tidal surge. It was a three foot tidal surge. The whole area of the coastal line. That's what the fire commissioner in Boston said. Multiple cars were reportedly stuck in flood waters. Dumpster takes a ride in flooded seaport. So, they must have had pretty intense winds, huh? Um, listen to this. 20 people had to be rescued in Quincy, Massachusetts. Flooding was also reported in the Squantum neighborhood with water into houses. Several neighborhoods had to be evacuated and a shelter was open, opened at the Quincy High School. The city has been hit very hard. Yep. Chelsea raw sewage was backing up. Sorry, I decided to wait for that car to pass. Raw sewage was backing up into the street from a Massachusetts Water Resources Authority facility. And 35 people from vehicles trapped due to flooding. They were rescued. An entire parking lot full of cars at Gloucester High School was submerged. Submerged. Plymouth Rock, well, you can't see it. It's underwater. Boston Seaport District, were, the buildings were compromised with water in basements where electrical transformer units are housed. So the firefighters, they're planning to go building to building to assess what needs to be shut down. They don't want to shut down anything if it's not necessary, but they don't want to err on the side of uh, safety. They don't want to shut anything down because of how cold it is. Coastal communities from Portland, Maine, all the way down to the south shore of Massachusetts experienced flooding. That's an awful lot of areas experiencing flooding of some sort. Marshfield, a mother and two children had to be rescued. Three other single vehicle uh, rescues took place in Revere, Massachusetts. People trapped in a basement on River Road due to high flood waters. Few people were evacuated on Plum Island due to flooding. Several streets in the city also had to be closed due to high water. Nantucket was forced to close several roads downtown. This is Nantucket. They were saying that the highest wind speed was 79 miles per hour. Nantucket. Roads in Dennis 
or shut down due to flooding. People trapped in floodwaters in Hull and Lynn. Several roads in Nahant and Orleans were impassable due to flooding. Downtown Portland, Maine, underwater. And parts of Route 1A in Seabrook, New Hampshire, flooded out. It's going to be wicked bad. It's going to be wicked cold. That's what one resident said in Rockport. Uh, Situate and nearby Marshfield advised people who live along the coast to evacuate by 10 a.m. New families, or few families, sorry, were doing just that in Situate. That's where a resident said that his house was literally shaking. So, for all of you who left me comments underneath my video uh, claiming that it's not going to be anything, we, how could you possibly state anything definitive today? It's going to happen if those who are, well, take a look at IntelliCast. Those who are controlling the weather, if they want it to be really bad, they can make it really bad. So, this is IntelliCast. Look at these ultra-low frequencies, harp rings as they are referred to, right up here, Nova Scotia, Halifax. This is the storm, guys. This is the storm. This is the manufactured storm. I posted a video yesterday reading, uh, you know, just parts of patents where they can make the temperature cold, how they can make the, the methods that they have. They also have methods to create an awful lot of disturbance in the waters. This is manufactured weather. We all know that. Unfortunately, those who just don't want to, um, I don't know, are they scared? Do they not want to believe that man can control the weather today? There's so many, there's so many um, possible reasons for why people are acting the way they are acting. But yes, we are at war. They are using we weather as a weapon. Look at this. I, it couldn't be more in our face. No, Mother Nature does not create defined lines. How many? Uh, six years. I've been saying this. Six years. Six years. Look at this and ultra-low frequencies are extremely dangerous. And look at this. Uh, what is this? What are we seeing here? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> really. Well, I'm hoping to hear from subscribers in Maine. Let me know if you have power. Look at all of the frequencies that are rippling through this entire storm. So they have the ultra-low frequencies, they have microwave frequencies, you can see all of the defined lines throughout this entire thing. My God. Ultra-low frequencies right over here. Now one can do the research to find out where all of these frequencies are being shot out from. Frankly, at this point, look, <laughs> we're seeing this time and again. 
people's homes, people's lives being destroyed. I don't care really where it's from. I only care that it's being done. But it's obvious that this is being shot off from right here. As you can see, the frequencies come right from out of here, which is north of Halifax. But we also have um, ultra low frequencies being shot off from Quebec. The whole thing is is deliberately being generated. The whole thing. So, um, yeah, it is heartbreaking to see that, yep, more and more people get to suffer the consequences of man controlling weather. But it's not just people. The animals. What about the animals? All right. At least six dead. Six dead. Three deaths occurred in North Carolina. A fourth happened in South Carolina. Two men whose pickup truck slid off the road and overturned into a creek. That was last night in North Carolina. There have been hundreds of car crashes. Two people were killed in Virginia. A 75-year-old man in Hampton was clearing snow from a business parking lot when he suffered life-threatening injuries from a snowplow. A young girl was sledding. I guess she sled into the street and got hit by a Toyota Tacoma truck. Major cities under blizzard war warning, 17, 17 inches in southern New Jersey, 16 inches in, on parts of the Jersey Shore, New York City's uh, boroughs, Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx, all reported 11 to 13 inches of snow. Maine and in New Jersey, all state offices will be closed today and tomorrow, no doubt. Uh, New Jersey declared a state of emergency in three coastal counties. Flooding has been the major problem in Massachusetts, eastern Massachusetts. Icy water surging through coastal streets in Boston. An ABC News meteorologist spotted lightning on the radar this morning in Long Island, New York also in Connecticut, which is considered to be the thunder snow. Coastal snowstorm moves over the wa warm waters of the Gulf Stream. The weather system is drawing moist, warm air into the atmosphere. Warm air rises and forms into a cloud where cold and warm air meet, producing turbulence that's needed for lightning to form. Water droplets and ice crystals Inside the cloud, bump together and move apart in the air, creating static electric charges in the clouds. Well, guess what? Yesterday, I was reading pretty much this. How they can actually do this with frequencies. They can manipulate the jet stream. They can manipulate air masses. They can move warm and cold air masses. Sorry for you hearing my frustration, but I wrecked snowfall in Tallahassee, Florida. Charleston, South Carolina got more than five inches. And it's rapidly strengthening. It's expected to produce strong winds and minor to moderate coastal flooding. It's approximately 80,000 people are without power from Maine to Georgia. 
Snowfall in Boston should let up this evening. In New York, you'll get some relief by midnight. LaGuardia and uh, JFK are closed. 40 to 60 mile per hour winds along most parts of the East Coast. This afternoon, some areas, including Atlantic City, New Jersey, they could get guts, gusts up to 70 miles per hour. Perhaps those winds came and they're gone now. The worst of the cold will be Friday when wind chills are for forecasted to hit minus 40 in New England. Minus 40 in New England. And you said, I mean, the chunks of ice that are just coming right into streets, slamming into homes. This is utterly insane. Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority announced via Twitter, Twitter, that ferry service was suspended. The ferry in New York to Staten Island uh, is suspended. Massachusetts State Police tweeted that road closures were in effect together with images of flooded streets. So the National Weather Service said the worst of the coastal flooding is over, but warned the water would be slow to drain and said that some of the water will likely freeze as the temperatures plunge heading into the weekend. There's going to be another high tide around midnight. Flash freeze is of concern in Cape Cod and the islands. Across Massachusetts, 20,000 are without power. So, Aaron, Maine, hello, anybody, you guys, up in the Northeast, please drop a comment below. Let us know that you're okay. Let us know if you have power. The police are required to drive doctors and nurses to hospitals in Massachusetts. Of course, schools will be closed, shelters are opening in case flooding continues and evacuations are necessary. Brighton, Massachusetts, a senior complex was evacuated. 89 seniors were put up in hotels. This is a resident in Winthrop, Massachusetts, kayaking through the streets. Oh boy. So, yeah. I, I would like to not see those comments from people who say, LOL, nothing to worry about, it's just hype. Eastern Massachusetts is still expected to get buried in 12 to 18 inches of snow today. All right. I'd love to hear from you guys. Please let, let us all know that you're okay. All links are below. By the way, this is the the uh, temperature map nine ten fourteen zero but look at how it goes and I'm so sorry um, to subscribers who live in western North Carolina because it is friggin cold there four degrees but then you know just miles away it's 18 degrees it was near 40 degrees here in South Carolina, but the temperatures dropped so rapidly. I don't know what the, the temperature is right now. But none of this is normal. None of this is natural. 
All links are below.